All right, y'all. San Diego Comic Con news flying, so we try to keep video, make videos, keep up as fast as we can. Number, well, not the number one thing, but a very important thing because it is Sir, serious information out here. Technically, boy. it's not news they dropped at San Diego Comic Con. Mm -hmm. It's just news that just happened during San Diego Comic Con, and we just but, happen to be giving updates on San Diego Comic Con. Uh, all this fails. James Gunn fired. Guardians of the Galaxy Three does not have a director now. At the moment, it'll probably change Gun. in a few days. Gun is gone. But Gun is gone. Again, past come back to haunt you. And it haunted him out of a job. Out of a, I won't say out of a career, but out of a out of a great movie. Man. People, right. Twitter does not mean literally give whatever's on your mind into social media. You can have restraint when you put stuff on Twitter. You do not have to. You, anyway, so what are your first thoughts? People, you do not have to put whatever's on your mind in the world. You can keep your opinion to yourself. You can. You can. Especially what he was saying. Whoa. Really? Really? This dude, I'm sorry, he needs to go see a doctor. He needs to he, go he get He might help. have done that already. He needs to go get help again. Why? If, and he needs some real friends because his friends would have told him to delete that stuff a long okay, time okay. ago. All right, let, let's, let's take a step back. Or his manager should have said delete Let's take a step back. Time. Why does he have to go get help again if he's already got help and he's not the same person? We, well, we you know, this, this is old news that just came out again. It's not like he's saying it again all over. Because okay, he's, he's, he's apologized Clearly before. he did. He did. He got help. And I don't he, know if he got Let's just say he got better. He changed. He changed. Let's just say he uh, changed. Let's say, okay, we'll say he changed. Good for you. I um I like the fact that you did change and you're not completely. And he apologized. Person. And you apologized. Well, I don't want to be apologized. He, he did. He said apologize. Somebody actually took his phone away and went on Twitter for him. No, for he change. apologized. It's before. Sheesh. Well, he's apologized in the past before about these comments. Uh, yeah, he has. I saw that too. So, I read that article, but still, this is some serious stuff, bro. All right, so this is some serious. Do you think that he should have been fired? Yeah. Um. No. Nah. But all that you just said, you still don't think he should have been fired? Because it was a pass and it was already done. He, this was before, this stuff was technically before he even got hired for the first Guardians movie. So Disney, like, oh, I'm sorry, yo. But at the same time, I understand why they fired him. Because it was about to get some major attention and it was about, that train was about to start running and it was going to be nasty. But I understand the rationality behind firing him. I don't think you should have been fired for past deeds, but at the same time, these are some serious past deeds. <laughs> but it's not for me to call. It's not my decision to make. And best of luck to him, because it's going to be tough out there. He's going to have to go independent again. Yeah, I'm not sure he should have been fired either, simply because it was the past. It's clearly these changes, because he don't make these tweets or jokes in movies at all. He's apologized. He's gone out his way to take advocate for those who made fun of back then, of the gays and stuff. He's on their side politically. So, I mean, actions speak louder than words. Those are strong words. Those are loud words, though. Those are loud, <laughs> loud words. But actions do speak louder than words. He's changed, and it's not because I think, oh, I don't know who's going to take over. My, I know he's doing a great job on Guardians 3, so I want to continue. I don't care. I care about that, but that's not the main reason. I believe people who've gone out their way to change, they should give them opportunity to show that they changed. Now, if he would have said this two months ago, I mean, he stuck my dick and he's out. But, he didn't, so. He's in the past years ago, too. So, let that man be. But since he is gone, who do you think should have taken over the uh, Guardians? I have no idea who should take over. I've heard the rumors, we both heard the rumors that uh, Takia, Takia, the guy who directed Thor Ragnarok. Right <laughs> Taki Wakiti? Taki Wakiti, yeah, him. He still said it wrong. You know what I'm talking about. The guy who directed Thor Ragnarok, right he is a lot of people's front runners. I personally. He's a lot of the fans. Yeah, a lot of fans, front runner. I personally don't really care because if the script's already written, take his script and just make it. Yeah, but if you don't have the same thoughts, dude. They always change that. Yeah, the, the, the well, yeah. directing is going to change it. But does. Kevin Feige is there. It's only going to change it so much. It's not. And I'm pretty sure they already... This isn't something that happened overnight. So I'm pretty sure that stuff was like... They already got stuff like ready to go for uh, director-wise. For um, it didn't people happen in mind. It probably... It didn't happen overnight because he got fired or what? 
Thursday. Today, Saturday. He got fired on. He got. The tweets came out Thursday. He got fired on Friday. Saturday. It didn't happen overnight, but it was as close as you can to overnight in the business world. Yeah. So, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I can, I'm pretty sure Kevin Feige has got some people who already think it. Because I know they just, before they made it public that he's fired, pretty sure the head of the Disney movies told Kevin Feige, we're firing your director. And hung up. Yeah, that's how you do so, big, big business. Yeah, so pretty sure you, Kevin Feige is already wondering what he's going to do. Because the movies, he's already announced the movies, so you got to have a director. And you've seen in the middle of production, Kevin Feige still find a director to finish the movie. In case of the first Ant Man movie. He even though I think I stuck strongly behind at the right. You going to read that up? You going to read that up? But <laughs> they, he left or they uh, got fired or whatever, however you want to say it. He didn't finish the movie. They got the new dude, they brought a guy in. Movie was already, a lot of movies already done. Brought him in, finished the movie. Still came out, pretty decent movie. I got no, Kevin Feige is a miracle worker. I just, he, he does it, he does his thing. I don't know who to take over. Me, I will see if I can, personally what I want. Hey, I, Kevin Feige calls, hey, I go, right? Look man, let's bury the hatchet. Let's do something special with this. I mean, because I can see why you say that because of the simple fact that how Ant-Man is now, Ant-Man's more their comedy stuff. And Thor, I mean, not Thor, Guardians has, it's easily can put comedy in their stuff more easier than everybody else. But I, I don't know. I think their third movie was going to be not as as comedic as their first two were in this one. I don't know. Guardians is serious. The following thing, the bigger thing is, though, is that after the Russo brothers leaving, right, uh, Kevin Feige already had said that it was going to be on um, James, James Gunn, Gunn right. take, really taking over, yeah. doing the bigger moves like the, the all the uh, like the Avengers stuff move. Uh, now he's gone, and they were going more to do to move more. They were going to move to more of a cosmic outlook thing, like mm -hmm. cosmic movies. Yeah, James yeah. Gunn was the he started that in MCU. He's the yeah. founder. He's the reason oh, yeah. why oh, yeah. Thor Ragnarok looks so colorful and telling jokes. Up. He was the he was the he was the one who. Set the new echelon for him yeah. for the MCU. He reset the he reset the bar and set the tone for him, what's to come. Him and the Russo brothers both saved the MCU for going down a bad path. Oh, that's strong words right there. Yeah. Yeah. So to lose one of the one of your savers of the MCU is bad. That's an off camera discussion right there. Bad path though. It was, really? We we could talk. We could make a whole other video to talk about. We gonna make that. a whole new video about that. But, yeah, the turning point of the MCU. Okay. Yeah, it was. But that's neither here nor there. He's gone. You need to find somebody who's going to be great to replace him and keep that same energy in, of the MCU that he ushered in. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, man, we're going to go ahead. This is it. Keep it script. We're going to uh, keep it moving, man. We got other news we got to cover. A lot of stuff's happening. I'm a little hungry and thirsty. So until next time, deuces.